it hangs I know you had full events day to day and emotions and it must be pretty tired so I'll try to make it real short. Congressman Long, Congressman Green, members of Congress, your eminences, your and fathers, dear friends, compatriots, Mr. Artisan, allow me to start by expressing our appreciation to the co-chairs, Congressman Long and Green, for their leadership and for co-hosting this congressional commemoration of the Armenian Genocide with the Embassy of Armenia, the Empire Office and the Armenian American Organizations. I highly appreciate the presence today of our many friends and supporters on the Hill. Today, we commemorate the 98th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, a genocide that killed one and a half million of our ancestors, took their historical lands, destroyed millennium's old culture and heritage. As we honor the memory of the one and a half million victims, we mark yet another year of hard work by the Armenian American organizations, our congressional friends, we register another year of Turkish denialism, we mark yet another year of absence of proper international recognition and condemnation of the Armenian genocide. Dear friends, throughout the year, Turkey continued refusing diplomatic relations and open borders with Armenia, kept fearlessly denying the Armenian genocide. Turkish side did everything to further convince us that the true normalization wasn't its genuine goal when engaging in talks with Armenia, that it has no any intention to look for ways for coming to terms with its history. It demonstrated clearly once again, and this time to the entire world, that it doesn't have the courage and the political will to face its history that it is the hostage and servant of its past, that it cannot deny the denialism, and because of that, it's not able to move forward to embrace the present and the future. Aggressive statements coming from Turkey and actions of Turkish organizations here in the United States soil and elsewhere witness to that end. They are working hand in hand with other groups to promote anti-Armenian resolutions at state legislatures thus trying to counterweight Armenian genocide recognition efforts and to discredit Nagorno Karabakh's claim for freedom. Dear friends, we cannot share the wait and see strategy suggested by some that is meant to leave it to Turkey alone to address these issues on its own, no matter how much time it takes. Turkish side did and does everything to leave no doubts that the best and shortest way to break this vicious circle, the wall of silence inside the Turkish society and denialism, and to move forward has been and remains the international recognition of the Armenian genocide. It's not a secret that even the mere discussions here at the Foreign Relations Committee resonates widely inside the Turkish society. <coughs> Dear friends, we surely should continue our joint efforts the Armenian government has a clear and consistent view of this. As President Sarkisian put it, nothing can question the reality of the patricide and the genocide perpetrated against the Armenian nation. It is a known fact and it should be recognized and condemned by the whole progressive humanity. Thank you very much.